Time for another five minute ish review. Bloodlust, Subspecies 3 from 1994. Filmed back to back with part two, this film opens exactly where the previous movie leaves off. Michelle is recaptured by Mummy, and her blood is used to resurrect Radu. Becky has notified the authorities, and her friend from the embassy, Mal, and the police lieutenant, Marin, join her at the cemetery. Before Radu, Michelle, and Mummy can be discovered, they flee in a billow of smoke back to Radu's castle. There, Michelle asks to be taught how to be a vampire from Radu. Radu takes her hunting and starts her training, much to Mummy's annoyance. She wants Michelle destroyed before she can infect Radu with her humanity. Meanwhile, Becky and her friends track Michelle back to the castle and hatch a plan to rescue Michelle. Plans such as these go as well as you expect them to, and once again, our heroes are in peril. It had been some time since I'd watched any of the subspecies films prior to this recent rewatch, and while I know I watched part three right after I watched part two when I did so, I'll admit that this is the one I remember the least about. I had vague memories of it being the weaker of the three, and while that may be true, it is actually a much stronger addition than I remembered. My fleeting memories of the film did lead me to incorrect assumptions of what to expect in this viewing. I had forgotten Michelle's turnaround to actually wanting to learn her newly gained abilities, and that she began to give in to her thirst. She still hesitates, but when the blood starts flowing, she doesn't fight too hard to resist. Actually, what I really liked from this recent viewing was that while Michelle gives in to her cravings, she immediately regrets it and curses Radu for what he has done to her. Radu wants nothing more than for her to give herself completely to him and to throw off her humanity, but her hatred for him is too strong. Any regret that Radu may have for turning Michelle is due more to him not ending up with the playmate he desired than him finding any morals. Michelle begs for Radu to kill her, but that request Radu is much too greedy to grant. He wants Michelle, and he's willing to wait eternity for that to happen. Denise Duff really shines in this film. She conveys Michelle's internal conflict with amazing skills. Her character is beginning to accept her predicament, but you definitely get the impression that she wants to learn her abilities so she can use them against Radu and Mummy. I'm sure that is her plan, but she recognizes that she may not be strong enough, and when given the chance, she begs Radu to destroy her to end her suffering. You glean this all without exposition filled with telegraph dialogue. It is all through her face and the tone in which she provides her lines. The highlights of the film are between Duff and Anders Hove, but they are far too few. So much of this film focuses on Becky and her vampire hunting friends and their exploits. I understand that it's important to see some of their plan making and their efforts to save Michelle, but Duff and Hove's scenes are so good and they are so good in them, you just want more. I certainly wanted more of their relationship issues rather than watching Becky and embassy pretty boy Mal being forced in some unrealistic potential love affair. Though I will say that this film acknowledges that in the middle of a crisis isn't the best time to start up for any couple. Michelle displays some post-traumatic stress from her capture and attempted molestation by Radu, and that makes it impossible for her to become intimate. I found that to be a refreshing direction for the film to take. So... Still maybe the weakest so far, but a lot better than memory served. Not a perfect film, but a worthy coda to the beginning of the franchise. Well worth a watch for no other reason than to get the resolution from part two. This film ends open enough that it is unclear if they really planned another direct sequel or not. It will be four years before another subspecies film materializes. A sort of spin-off film, Vampire Journals, is produced in 1997, which introduces a new vampire, Ash. Uh, but that is for another review. Until then, I'd love to know what you thought about Bloodlust, Subspecies 3, the subspecies series as a whole, or even Charles Band and Full Moon Entertainment. Follow the link in the show notes to find all the ways to get in contact with the show. Thanks for listening.